greetings a very important part of our personality dear friends my name is sandeep patil and today i'm going to tell you about greetings the right way but here i'm going to give you a complete guide everything about greeting i'll tell you we are going to work on very important factors about greeting i'm going to tell you about the psychology i'm going to tell about the body language i'm going to tell about the words which we are going to use if you want to greet well if you want to greet effectively if you want to greet uh, with enthusiasm and want to impress the person this is the video for you don't miss this video come on let's move ahead now i'll tell you about the next point okay <clears throat> the relevance of greeting it's very important for you to be good in greetings and the reason is first is it's a first impression when you greet someone that person gets impressed i mean the person judges you when people judge us the way we greet so we have to be very careful about greetings the way we greet second people will like you i mean as i said like the way you greet people like you and it's an instant impression instant judgment they do about you people will respect you i mean the way you greet as i said like if you are very good in greeting they will respect you as as i said like uh, you you may get selected in an interview or you may get the project or you may get the deal so a uh, greeting is very important but greeting is not only about words as i said before it is beyond that and how and what it is let me continue let us move forward and here we go there are three components of greetings let me explain you dear friends three components behind greetings first the thought process in your mind the thought process is very important the way you think it has a huge impact on the way you greet so we are going to work on that we are going to work on then thoughts also affect your body that is called as psychosomatic component psychosomatic connection psycho thoughts soma body your thoughts also reflect on your body i mean on your facial expressions on your uh, uh, hand gestures your shoulders uh, everything it's it, there is a connection we are going to study that and last is the words to be used the words which we are going to use as you can see here that this is the basic way we operate humans operate i mean thoughts are there words feelings are there and body is there body language is there so when you are greeting to someone first thoughts are there in your mind which you don't know they are very subtle they are very subtle they are very very uh, at a very quick level they they are not slow you don't know that these thoughts are there they are very quick very fast they are so this is the thoughts words are there when thoughts are there feelings will come feelings i mean different kind of emotions are there depending upon the thoughts and when feelings are there your body will also react according to your feelings so you can see here this is what interconnected i mean they are in both directions these arrows are in both the directions means what your thoughts affect your feelings also your feelings affect your thoughts they are interconnected your body affects gets affected by your feeling your feelings also impact your body your body also affects your thoughts and thoughts also affect your body they are all interconnected they they inter talk they talk to each other they interact with each other let me give you one example for example as i said thoughts will create feelings suppose your thought is oh my god it's very horrible to greet a feeling will come nervousness will come and when this nervousness will come it will be reflected in your body but on the other side if you purposely change your body purposely move your body though you are nervous but if you still purposely work on your body language you will you can change your emotions i will talk about that as i move forward and also when your body movement changes your thoughts also change they interact with each other this is the psychology of a human i mean this is the way human works and it's applicable everywhere in your life so guys come on let us move forward and i will talk about the next point i'll talk about the next point which is very important and here i go okay now uh, as i said like there are three important components of greeting which we are going to see in detail 
and as I said before that this will be a in-depth video I'm going to go in in depth and I'm going to explain you about greetings and I'm sure that henceforth you will have no problems regarding greetings no problems so the first is as you can see the thoughts and specifically I have written automatic thoughts these thoughts are automatic there friends there are two types of thoughts in, in us first is automatic thoughts and next is thoughts which are rational thoughts which we have chosen thoughts which uh, uh, which we decide thoughts which we choose these are called as the rational thoughts or the selected thoughts or we can say the purposeful thoughts all right friends so this is one important thing okay let's move forward so let us go with the first one the first one is see this is the way we talk to ourselves and if you ask me why do we think in this way i can definitely say that this is the way we are been uh, been groomed this is the way we are been uh, developed by our, uh, our nature and most of us even intelligent people will think negatively so it's not your fault it's the way we have been brought up in nature we can call it as a nature effect okay Dear friends, our thinking gets affected due to four reasons. First is nature, next is nurture, next is culture, then it is signature. I will not talk about that because that is not the topic here. But let me talk about this point now. Okay, so these are automatic thoughts, as I said, automatic. And automatic thoughts are mostly self-hurting. And most of us don't know what are the thoughts going on. So first of all, you should be able to understand which thoughts are going on. Mostly when you want to greet someone, the first thought comes, I must greet perfectly or else I will look like a fool. I must greet perfectly or else I will look like a fool. So this thought comes, of course, this, this thought is going to create nervousness in you. Second, it's horrible if this happens. It's horrible if I am not able to greet properly. Maybe my boss, maybe my colleague, maybe anyone, a new person, if I fail, if I did some mistake it's horrible next is it is better not to try so no question of failure so these people don't try at all so they say that they just sit quiet and don't give greetings you can see they are lagging in confidence they will not take the initiative they will not go and speak that's the problem they have the other guy is better than me again this kind of thought is there and when you have this kind of thought what happens i'll tell you you already believe that this person is greater than me he is better than me he is intelligent, he is uh, superior to me. Therefore, this thought will again create anxiety. This will create anxiety in you. So these are the thoughts which usually 98%, 99% people, we get these thoughts. And with these thoughts, if you go and try to speak up, try to greet the other person, you will be nervous because these thoughts will create nervousness in you. One more thing I want to tell you here, nervousness is very important. Nervousness is an emotion which tells us that yes, you need to perform well. So come on, give you 100%. So nervousness is not bad emotion, but nervousness when it becomes anxiety, then the problem starts. You aren't able to perform properly. That hinders your performance. We don't want anxiety. We want nervousness. Nervousness is good because whenever you speak, for example, now while making this video, I'm nervous, but my nervousness is in control. If I wasn't nervous, I wouldn't be able to make a proper video. I wouldn't be able to give my 100%. So nervousness is very important, but when it goes out of control, the problem starts. Next. So the next point is helping and realistic thoughts. Helping. Thoughts which help you. I'll explain you. Thoughts which help you and thoughts which are realistic. As I said before that, as I told you that most of the thoughts we uh, come across every day around, if you ask me, 70 to 80,000 thoughts hit our mind. And most of the thoughts are automatic thoughts. And automatic thoughts will not help you. They will hurt you. This is the first thing. So you have to, first of all, be very careful about automatic thoughts. Here, let us change those thoughts. Now, how to change those thoughts? Of course, you have to talk to yourself. You have to convince yourself. You have to write down these thoughts. You have to read them again and again. 
because your emotional brain that is the amygdala part of the brain will always get excited amygdala part is here which is the emotional part emotional part of our brain it will excite you it will make you nervous so to calm it down we have to use the neocortex part of the brain neocortex part of the brain is a thinking part of the brain which helps us to make a rational decision and let us think rationally let us think realistically and that is going to help us to be a better communicator to to be a better in greeting that is what we are going to do here dear friends i'd prefer to greet properly but not pressurize myself to be perfect see here the word is i prefer i have made it red i prefer before that there was one word like i must be but here preference is there why because we are humans we will make mistakes but if you pressurize yourself for perfection this stress will help you i mean this stress will create more pressure and that will uh, at the end create failure you will make a mistake so we don't need must and we don't need perfection it should come easily it should come normally to you all right i'm a human i may make mistakes this is what you have to tell yourself and because you are a human you are fallible you are going to make mistakes and last is if i do not greet well it's just a small glitch it is not horrible it is not terrible and that is what we this is also called as catastrophization catastrophization means what people who have this habit of catastrophization again catastrophization is a kind of a distorted cognitions distorted thinking which happens naturally i mean uh, we have this natural tendency to make a small issue big one now why this is there because of our ancestral upbringing because of the uh, what i can say like um, evolutionary reasons our brain was designed to make a small issue big because if you were not alert lakhs of years before when tigers and lions were there around in the jungle you would have got killed so if there is a moment in the bush you should be alert and make a small issue big otherwise you would not have survived if you were very brave those who were very very brave they were wiped out because they took undue risk and they got killed today we are we are not brave actually we are nervous been because this is the way nature has created human we are here for survival we are not here to be brave courage must be practiced see here courage is not absence of fear courage is not absence of fear courage is doing it in spite of fear and that is what uh, everything is all about greeting and public speaking and all everyone gets nervous even i get nervous while speaking but now when i do it multiple times i'll tell you i am able to control my nervousness i'll tell you how to do that so this is the important point friends understand this this is the most important point you have to understand your thinking you have to understand the way you think you have to understand how to control your thoughts because no matter what your thoughts are you have the choice to choose your thoughts no one can take away your choice so next time uh, use these thoughts read this again and again and convince yourself that yeah this is the fact and this is realistic actually this is not what uh, what i am saying this is the realistic thing this is the reality this is the fact fact which is real there let us move forward now now the second part is the body language as i saw as i said there are three components three important factors in greetings first i told you the mindset the psychology the thoughts management of your thoughts handling your thoughts second point is now the body language the body language now see here there is a very important point i want to tell here is the point is the body language and the action behavior only actions practice will help you change you the thoughts and about your greetings see here it's very important your body language first of all here i would like to show you one video also like if you your body language is not proper people will judge you okay i will i will show you that video but first of all let us understand this point <coughs> sorry see here here i have want to tell two things first is body language two things are there and second is action action means your behavior body language is this but without action without practice nothing is going to change your thoughts will change do you remember that triangle your the, the triangle which was here 
ओके योर बॉडी योर मूवमेंट्स ऑल्सो चेंज योर थॉट्स सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू चेंज योर नेगेटिव थॉट्स विच वे दर इन द प्रीवियस लाइड इन दिस प्रीवियस लाइड वॉट आई टोल्ड वेर इट इज हियर इट इज इन दिस लाइड वॉट आई टोल्ड आई टोल्ड यू दीज आर द हेल्पिंग थॉट्स बट दिस थॉट्स विल नॉट जस्ट कम टू यू यू हैव टू फर्स्ट टेक एक्शन ओनली देन दिस थॉट्स विल यू कैन प्रूव दैट हा वॉट एवर आई एम थिंकिंग इज राइट you have to prove yourself and to prove yourself you have to actually act and there no one is going to help you sandeep patel is not going to help you you have to help yourself let us move forward now the point which i was telling is this let us come here first net practice and then match practice what i want to say is this whatever i am going to tell you you have to actually go and you have to work on this you have to work on this without working without action nothing is going to change only theory is of no use because greeting is action you have to go and say hi hello how are you what are you doing that is what actually you have to do so uh, no point in just uh, reading and watching my video it's not going to help you let's move forward friends motions create emotions why i am telling you this because as i said like i told you that particular point your body movements also create your emotions thoughts and body also creates emotions so here you can see here there are two pictures here this guy of course you can see here this guy is tense he is nervous he is not very happy let us come here you can see this is tense if this body language is there if this body language is there your thoughts also will be the same same thoughts and suppose your body language is positive i told you thoughts also same emotions same emotions but if your body language is positive you will have better thoughts better thoughts better emotions means what your body also creates your thoughts thoughts create body i mean if you are feeling sad gloomy and depressed your body language will be like this but if you are feeling happy energetic positive your shoulders will be broad you are facing you are you know eye contact is there high pitch of voice will be there everything about your body will be positive and attract you similarly if you make your body move if you make your body shift if you make your body um, purposely positive even if you are feeling sad still if you stand straight have a good eye contact and smile hormones will be secreted in your brain serotonin like and you will start feeling better let me show you one video here in this video i will explain you how body language affects your body also affects your face your thoughts psychosomatic okay see this video now so dear friends uh, you can see here this is a person who is nervous and when a person is nervous you can see that what happens to that person that person gets really really you can see his shoulders down you can see his hands you can see his facial expressions you can see the shoulders drooped down you can see that so when you see a person who is nervous you can definitely very easily figure out that he is nervous so for example you can see here he is nervous actually we don't do this like this in real life but you can see the shoulders he is nervous all of you got it okay yes okay now let me show you a person whose body language is very positive and whose body language is very effective hmm. you can see these people walking here <coughs> let me play this you can see this the way they are walking the shoulders you can see here i will pause it here i will pause it here and i will show you exactly what i want to show you let us come here see the shoulders broad in the previous video i told you the the, the person had drooped uh, shoulders i mean uh, we can say like he was slacking but here you can see here shoulders are broad you can see here also this lady you can see here this guy shoulders you can see now the smile on the face smile also is also very important 
so when you are actually when you are actually uh, you know friends walking you can see this the way the rhythm of course you should not walk that with the swag that much of swag is not required but confidence is required and that's very important here now see here friends see here now as you have seen in these two videos now what we have to do is we have to make conscious conscious body movements are required so when you are greeting consciously purposely you have to walk straight you have to walk straight means what don't bend walk straight and walk 25% faster than your usual pace i'm not saying running but 25% bit quicker of course we can't measure it but bit faster than your regular when you're going to greet that person it can be interview room also it can be a any colleague also shoulders straight you can see it straight shoulders because these people are happy straight not drooped as i showed in the previous video eye contact eye to eye contact i will show you at the end actually a video i'll show you how to do a proper eye contact smile as i said when you smile you feel better it's not like when you feel better you smile you can give yeah i mean fake it till you make it and next firm handshake when you do this purposely you will start feeling better about it but as i said like directly you can't go and do this you have to do net practice you have to practice with your friends also come on friends let us move forward now <clears throat> now the words friends words which we use they are also very important i told you first i told you about thoughts then i told you about your body language now i'm going to tell you about the words but friends in words your pitch is also very important the clarity is also very important and intonations are very important to get this to get this first of all your emotional state must be calm and composed because if you are nervous and agitated it will affect your voice so to be calm and composed one is thoughts i told you before another is practice more and more that is behavior repetitions deliberate practice the more you do that the better you feel so these are the things about words you of course you should have clarity i mean what exactly you are going to say hi hello my name is sandeep patel clarity about what exactly you are going to say i will make a separate video about all the greeting words but this is not for that this is a complete video of combination of psychology combination of body language combination of words but only for words there will be a separate video i will make about uh, different ways of greeting here i have considered that you are greeting someone who is your counterpart who is of your equal in your equal official position so how you are going to going to greet that all right so let us move forward now these are the words when you are greeting a counterpart okay like good morning sir or you, if you know the person you can say good morning mr patil good morning sandeep you can say depends upon your relationship with that person if you know him personally you can say hi instead of hello as i said hi good morning to you hi good morning hi good morning sandeep you can say like that but if the person you don't know if it's very official you can say hello my name is sandeep patil and also you can say at the end how are you you can say the sequence is like you can choose the sequence as per your wish so but while saying this there must be a proper amalgamation of your thought process your body language and the words so in the last video i will show you actually how to do that how to actually use the proper words like you can say hi good morning i'm sandeep patel wait he will greet but handshake is also very important firm handshake i will show you in the video now and then he will greet you you have to reciprocate back and then all the things will start but this first impression the body language the way you stand the way you greet the shoulders the eye contact and the smile on your face and the words which come out properly with clarity with proper intonations will make a long lasting impression on the other person so guys let us go with the last section that is the actual video now you can see here 
the way he walks. Okay. Now, what happens here, friends? Understand one thing is, if you are nervous, even though if you are nervous, if you walk confidently, if you walk confidently, as you can see here, you will feel better because as I said, like uh, your body language, your body language also affects your thought process. Okay. If you walk confidently, you will feel better about yourself. Well, friends, now, uh, well, I will, I will tell you actually how it works now. Okay. How to greet. As you can see here in this video, you can see in this video, shoulders, the firm handshake, smile, the thought process, the body language, the smile, again the body language, the shoulders, you can see here, and then the words. Hi, this is Sandeep Patel. Good to see you. You can see now. Just see in the handshake, the firm handshake. Handshake is firm. Eye to eye contact, you can see eye to eye contact is there. The distance between these two people is appropriate. How much should be the distance? We can say hands away not too close. Again, I will talk about the body language afterwards, but if you are too close, it invades the privacy. So don't go too close. Stay away. This much distance is fine. Good eye contact, smile on your face and better words, better pitch. What will happen? Of course, you can see here, everyone, both will be impressed and the handshake should last for not more than five seconds, five seconds of handshake. Well, friends, this is the way you have to greet. This is the way you can impress. Hope this video will help you and you will be better in greeting. Thanks a lot for this video, watching this video. And tell me in the comments, uh, how do you greet? And do you get nervous? I want to know from your side. Take care. Bye-bye.